One is uh, diet. I mean, really, it seems, again, no one can say this for sure, Mediterranean diet um, and trying to adhere to that as much as possible. Yes, if we can restrict our calories, that's great. We all know how hard that is. But at the same time, I mean, if there is a diet pathway to brain health and overall health, that might be one of them. It may also contribute to this idea of the blue zones too, to some extent. I think second is, of course, a moderate exercise with a focus, not just on cardiovascular exercise, but then also strength training and, and stretching and flexibility. The latter two are very helpful to prevent adverse events like falls in life that can be really catastrophic in many different ways. Um, third, I would argue is social engagement, which we kind of touched on a little bit today, but we know social isolation and particularly loneliness is linked to a range of adverse outcomes, including expedited mortality. I mean, I think that's something else that we should be paying attention to um, as we age throughout the life course. And I think if we do all those th three things effectively, then that, that, that then leads to better management of stress. Um, certainly one thing we can do actively is manage cardiovascular disease risk factors, doing all of these different things. That certainly is important because again, cardiovascular health certainly is a gateway. We know to brain health, but also to a number of other adverse health conditions as well. 